Hey guys, I'm here at the Orlando International Airport. Today is the first day that Emirates Airlines is actually offering non-stop flights from Dubai to Orlando and back. So we got a plane to catch. Let's go. I'd like to say just how pleased we are to be able to finally make this announcement today. Orlando is a destination we have wanted to serve for many years. The benefits to our region and our local economy go far beyond the hundred million dollar impact that the partnership that we enjoy today demonstrates. Through Emirate Airlines and its wonderful leaders, and airline ambassadors, we're establishing connections to regions and economies across the globe. Just imagine with daily service now available to Dubai and other popular de destinations throughout Asia and Africa, we will be able to expand our world-famous brand to even more potential visitors and guests, as well as corporate leaders and executives. Through these new routes, Visit Orlando will be able to leverage its expansive global marketing and sales efforts to markets throughout the Middle East and Asia. And while we are extremely honored and excited about this partnership, sir, it is no surprise that the Emirates and the world is excited about exploring our market. Thank you for welcoming Emirates to Orlando, and we are honorable, honored to call your city our new home and to connect travel from the Center of Florida with their family, friend, and business partner around the world. On behalf of all my colleagues at Everett Airline, it's my pleasure to say hello, Orlando. Thank you very much. So this is pretty cool. I've never been out here before. Not a lot of people can say they have. Uh, on the tarmac at Orlando International Airport, and we're actually waiting for the aircraft to come in. So really cool. So since we're Attractions Magazine, most of our viewers are really interested in what to, what there is to do in Dubai. So what what is there to do in Dubai? There's tons to do. I have been living now there in Dubai for around about three years. Um, it's a super family friendly place. It's a very safe place. Uh, you have water parks. Um, Dubai for me is also the uh, only city where you can have breakfast on the beach in the morning and you can have dinner in the desert. Um, there are a lot of certainly cultural experiences with the old Dubai, with the Dubai Creek or waterway, um, world class hospitality. Um, so, um, and, and I mean, also the shopping experience is very unique with, for instance, uh, the Emirates Mall and um, the Dubai Ski World we have in there. So, really, tons to do for um, excitement and entertainment seeking uh, visitors. We see that a lot of visitors are kind of really kind of um, coming into Dubai. They love the entertainment, but it's, it's vice versa. You know, um, the guests from the Middle East, the guests from the Indian subcontinent, the guests from, from Africa, they love to come to uh, Orlando and really enjoy the world capital of entertainment. So it's kind of win-win, uh, you know, both sides uh, see the same kind of influx of travelers. And there's still a lot of development in Dubai, everything is still growing rapidly? Well, there's uh, a lot planned. Uh, there's a Bollywood uh, movie uh, theme park planned. Um, there's a Legoland uh, planned. So a lot of projects are in the pipeline. And uh, last but not least, and you heard it today, uh, 2020, um, Dubai will host uh, the World Ex Exhibition. And also this is, um, I think, an interesting fact for families, for people, for guests, for visitors, tourists to come to the UAE, to Dubai. So we're about to do a tour of the aircraft. This is an A380. It's the flagship aircraft for the company and won't actually come to our Orlando, they'll be using a Boeing 777 for all our guests flying out of Orlando to Dubai. 
only flown three times, and it's like, I've always, it's Southwest, so it's a small plane, so I'm like, I know I'm gonna be shocked by how big this is. I like how every seat has a wrapped blanket, which for a 14 hour, 15 hour flight, it's probably fantastic to have one of those. Two stories? What? We're coming into the lounge. Hello, how are you? This is great. They have cameras on the outside of the plane so you can actually see what's going on. So your seats can actually fold out into a bed, which is fantastic, especially since you'd be taking such a long flight. So this is definitely where you want to sit if you're flying to Dubai. This is very comfortable. This is, this is nice. So you have a touchscreen television, and you have a tablet. Every seat comes with a tablet up here, and you also have a little area for all your beverages, and of course to call for assistance, and this is, this is the way to fly, my goodness. So a really unique feature that I've never even heard of, but this is, this is great. It has special lighting all throughout the plane to help reduce jet lag, and there's actually, you probably can't see, but there's little LED lights in the ceiling that they use to simulate stars, which I, I bet it works, but wow, that's so cool. So I was totally wrong. This is the way to fly. This is first class. That back there was business class. I mean, this is like unreal, unreal, very cool. I gotta go to Dubai. I gotta do it. So this is actually where you can make a reservation to come in during your flight, sit in here, and it's like a sauna, but it's also a shower room, and this is a, this is a plane. Remember that, this is a plane. Feels more like a cruise ship. weird that this is a plane. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. So cool. Unreal. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for showing us. Thank you very much. We did. So non-stop flights to Dubai are going out of Orlando International Airport daily now. And if you don't want to go to Dubai, you can still get to China, Australia, and Africa much faster now. And I would really recommend looking into Emirates.